Uh, my name is Juan Lopez. This is my wife, Veronica Lopez, and um, we have two kids with us. She's at the Women's Mission, TLC, and I'm at the Men's Program at Phoenix Rescue Mission. I'm going on about nine months there now, and she's going about eight. We're far along the program. We uh, being here. She's had her our daughter, and she came here with our son. My son's about almost two years old, and then our daughter's four months. Um, we started buying drugs from his friend, pills. And pretty much we lost everything when we started that addiction. Like we lost our apartment, he lost his job. Like I was getting high so I wasn't thinking about my mom committing suicide. I wasn't thinking about me being homeless or um, my boyfriend being in jail and me being alone. But then it, it just made it way worse after the high would fade away or I was withdrawing. Then I'm, everything would just come down on me. So we no longer had money to buy like um, motels and we ended up being homeless. With it's like right beside a canal, like under a tree. And I mean it was hard because we had to like bathe in the canal. And like we wouldn't eat for like days sometimes. And I remember one time we did get food. It was late at night, we were gonna eat it and like ants were just sworn in our food. Like he bit into like, he had ants in his oh, mouth. Wow. It was horrible. So we couldn't even eat the food that we would get because like all the... All the bugs would get on them because yeah. we were too busy getting high off our drugs to eat our food. And until that night we prayed about it. Yeah. About getting sober. Shortly after that, he turned himself in for a warrant. And like a couple days later, I found out I was pregnant. I just wanted to quit and so I trusted in God and by the grace of God I mean she's here because we were so hooked on we had got into heroin at the time and we were so hooked on heroin that I don't know how my daughter survived um, the withdrawals that I went through because I know she was withdrawing inside of me. Um, he called his probation officer and she was like well go to the mission and I remember being like so empty because here my husband is, you know, he's gonna get better and he's gonna get sober and I'm gonna be still getting high. Like, how does that work? Mm -hmm. A wife who's getting high and a husband who's sober, that that wouldn't work. And that's how I ended up here. Yeah, it was hard, you know, being separated from my wife and kids. But it taught me how to be more of a man that God called me to be for my family and my wife. We've looked into rehabs before, but our main thing was like, we're not going to separate from each other. We're not going to be alone. And so for them to have a women's and a men's mission was like awesome because our family is all here. It was hard at first. Um, I was depressed and I was sad because this isn't where I would expect my life to be. I mean, I have two kids and I would love a nice house with me and my husband working and coming home to the kids and that would have been my dream but I feel like God lets things happen for a reason and now like we have such a powerful testimony to share with other people it seemed like as soon as we took God out of our life that's when we all we came crashing down and so I want to continue our relationship with God and continue like coming back and giving back to the girls about